I don't know why, but um, recently I've been in a little bit of a just exploration mood for um, for games, which is why I'm uh, going to play Fallout 4 and this game and to a degree also Assassin's Creed Black Flag because uh, it's kind of relaxing to just sit back and uh, explore an area and just having a good time, you know? Is it hot today? Yes, it is. It's, it's kind of like yesterday that it's this... Uh, shortly before thunderstorm feeling uh the only issue is that there was no thunderstorm so it didn't change i'm waiting for like a big uh big strong rain or thunderstorm any minute but we'll see boo exactly yeah me neither it's and I say that every time, but it's like when you then also have like a TV running, two laptops, uh, sometimes a PlayStation, lamps, etc. That heats a room up very quickly, even if you don't want to. <laughs> Which is nice in the winter, uh, not so nice in the summer. Also, uh, as a while we're doing the loading thing here. Um, there will be a new YouTube series, probably a rather short one, or no, fairly short one, but it will start tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. 10 p.m. Central European time, so in two hours from now, um, it'll, it'll start. So have a uh, look out for that. Do we have sound? We have, okay. Game is looking normal. Good. Sabadaka, we know the real reason it's hot in there. Right, my coffee. It is my coffee. You're absolutely right. It's good in here. It is the coffee that makes it hot. That's what you meant, right? So now, um, this is the tower. And uh, just to get familiar with the area again, um, here we have uh, the tree that we need to get to. And we found out that, and I'm still not 100% sure to understand uh, about all this, but there, we were brought here by some type of seed. And these seeds always drop in pairs and bring you here. And these are connected with the uh, trees. And we have to get out here, and that is also connected with the trees. Anyway, we need to get there in order to open this door, though. I assume we have to use this mechanism. And uh, since that is below, I need to find a way to get down there. But right now, this doesn't work. Because we have apparently no power here for some reason but first before we continue because i have an at least uh, an approach that i want to check out um because we came from this side and we uh, are able to get uh, um over the walkway or railway or what it's called uh on top of this from this side and maybe that will lead us to more but let's have a look at the journals that are barely readable Special Council Session 2. Discuss final approval of Farley's plan with regard to the imminent attack. The full council vote was unanimous and I gave my final approval. Preparation update. Farley says that tunneling is almost complete. Uh, Tham? Thom? Thom? Informs us that the Villains just completed their construction and have started testing. Special Council Session two, 12. No, uh, no one attended. I will inquire as to reason for absence. It appears that the council members feel like they were, feel like we are having too many meetings. 
The plan has been approved. Perhaps we can reduce our meetings to every two days for now. While I was asking Cecil about his absence, I also inquired about securing the tower area. Special Council Session 13. Cecil will provide a new key code for the lower lock in the next few days. Cecil was concerned about any survivors not having access, so it was decided that we would conceal the code in Farley's house and give the residents the location as they were being chambered. I also had him change the upper tower access code. A clue to that code has been placed under the direction of our first mayor. I have decided to bring some of the more important mayor's locks with me for chambering. Specifically the initial Hunrad lock and, the, and then the locks that document the history of our conflict with the Mofang. I would think we would have an extra chamber available for historic documents. And we heard that in the very beginning, I think, from Cecil in uh, our first conversation with him, uh, that there was something like a Mofang battle or Mofang war going on. Special Council Session 14. Only Tham attended. He informed me that because of the direct circumstances, the others were either extremely busy or not inclined to have long discussions about the situation. I told him I would suspend the regular special council session and we would simply meet as the need arose. I paid a visit to Farley today. I asked her to check on the availability of a chamber for the documents. I've spent the last few days collecting documents. I've divided them into two categories, chambered and vaulted. The vaulted are less important, but obviously worth making an effort to save. They are they can be moved into Farley's vault area. The vaulted uh, category will also include any books that we've managed to collect through the years. With less than a week remaining before chambering begins, the population is uh, tense. We're ahead. We've had several town hall meetings to try to answer any questions, but the realities of the current situation make it difficult to assuage fear. Uh, Farley, uh, okay, we have no council meetings anymore. Farley has informed me that there is one fine confirm, one fine confirmation from Chavar or Chavar. If Farley doesn't hear from her by the end of 1714 AH, then there is no turning back. There is an odd justice to Farley's plan and that whatever, whatever the Mofang bastard sent to kill us will be returned back to them. Okay, so the Mofang tried to kill the humans? And the Mofangs are the humanoid looking uh, species, uh, if I remember correctly. A special meeting was called to go over the plans for the final time. Farley had several instruction sheets to distribute the Mofang weapon illustration, a list of all souls that will be used as a basis for the chambering manifests and through summary of the battle plans. These will be uh, distributed as necessary. No word from Chavar. Hello, Alcestra. How are you doing? You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I and thank you, Alcestra, for uh, the for resub. Me. Four months now in a row. Time flies by, but very much appreciated. How are you doing today? Farley tells me that there will be at least one chamber available for historic documents. Any other extra chamber will be lo loaded with emergency provision and medication in case either Hunrad or Mirai are completely destroyed. No word from Shavat. So is there another town that we may get to? Mirai? So this is Hodenrad, but hmm, interesting. No word from Chavar. Death is on our doorsteps. Curse the Mofang devils to hell. I'm leaving to be chambered. This journal will remain here to inform any future souls of what our last days were like. It's getting dark here now. How's your day, Alcestra? So this is interesting that this thing is here. I will. I don't know if that is a, if it has anything to do, but let's write that down. It's four eight Iowa GG DCTD. Just in case, because like it's a little bit weird that we have 
one license plate here where we did see like a number of license plates somewhere else too but i don't remember where i think in the garage but since it's just laying around there i make a note of that mayors oh look at that joseph peter jensen is the last mayor Farley eventually became mayor. Benjamin Sin, John Farley, Carl Hunrad, Luther Roscoe. Interesting. Let's take a picture of that. Unfortunately, um, at least as far as uh, I looked at it, there is no external uh, folder where the photos are saved. Otherwise, I would have uploaded them on um, Discord. I'm well, other than this cold, though I just heard my shower starting to drip and it hasn't been used since this morning. So, oh no, I hope uh, I hope uh, it's only a ghost and nothing serious, but I hope you feel better with your cold very soon, Alcestra. Take care of yourself. Mr. M Mayor. At your behest, here is the information pertaining to the bleeder, its history, and some of the engineering behind it. That's this weird thing in the one lake with the floating things. The bleeder project was designed and built at the request of Mayor Sims to collect and dissipate the ever-increasing power in the entire ecosystem. Mayor Sims was reluctant to allow the system to come to fruition as he and others had become uh, suspicious of Mayor Farley's death. Oh, so, oh, I see. So John Farley was the prior mayor and they get suspicious about his death. Hmm. Also the documents so far today are much more readable than yes yesterday. He believed that without knowing more precisely what would happen to the cell wall at fruition, it was ill-advised to allow it to possibly open, thus allowing what might be inside in and what might be inside out. The system has the capacity to throttle all four connected walls. The idea, as you are well aware, is to suppress the ecosystem power and thus inhibit full maturity of the trees. It was postulated and since became apparent that this suppression will keep whatever unknown maturity process from happening and grant us direct control over the tree fruition. I see. The rate of dissipation is sensed and regulated automatically. The power is collected through Valane engineering extruded cables that attach directly to the dome membrane. When the maximum power level is exceeded, the dissipation phase is triggered, creating an electrical charge, followed by a discharge into the water. Through electro electrolysis, electro electro hmm? an amount of hydrogen and oxygen is generated. We capture some of these elements for our own use, but the great majority is released into our atmosphere. This gassing might be a cause for concern, were it not for the ecosystem's ability to filter and maintain our atmosphere at near idea level, ideal levels. Access H and O content, um, content and pressure generated by the process is rebalanced quickly by the membrane. And as you know, we discourage swimming when the bleeder is operational. Regards, C CW. Membrane, yes. Okay. So, okay, we had John Farley, and he suddenly died, apparently. And there was an, um, some suspicion of how he died. Electrolysis, okay. On German, it's uh, Elektrolyse. So those kind of things are always a little bit confusing for me. When it's pretty much spelled the same, it's just pronounced differently. Okay, so I still don't know how to set up the power, but let me um, check my... Um, initial thought of checking out uh, the tower from the other side.
Okay. Right, this brings us here again. And we arrive from here. And now I can look around here a little bit more, which I haven't. Oh, where's this leading? Is this new? Or is this where I actually came out? No, this is somewhere else. Oh, this is a complete different area. Yeah, Ko Koala is definitely the master of it. I guess as an international spy, you have to be able to do these things. Okay, where does that lead? Still not the path that I wanted to explore, but... Might as well do it. Oh, here's another one of those stone spheres. What? What did I do? We, we saw the same thing when, uh, when we got transported here. With the same effect. Hey Zora, welcome! Oh no. Didn't want to go here, I wanted to check out. So I guess that's the other world. Is this now the Mofang world or the... The Lane? Or what was the other, the Azai or something like that? Oh no. We teleported to somewhere else. Willy Wonka teleporting, yeah. Uh, uh, be careful of spoilers, Danielle. I do like it as well. It is. It just messes with my performance. Oh, there's another bug. So maybe this is the Arai? Or I think it's... Uh, they're called Arai, the... Look, look at that. And loading screen, yeah. It's a nice loading screen. Good. Do I have to hold it? Oh, there, there's, there's some of the blue stone that we saw. Um, in in the one blue sphere. So what? This looks like I should be able to use it. Oh, it's... Did I maybe now unlock? <laughs> it's okay, Alcestra. Just, just a moment of weakness. It's so misty. <laughs> oh, for sure, Zora. Yeah, it is. I mean, it scratches. For me, it scratches uh, the itch to try out a mist game. Oh, here we have a thing. Oh 
nearby. Oh, here we go. Oh, what is that? What is that spooky... Shadow Man? Hey, um, yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm a friend. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't like friends. Uh, there is another bug. Or what do you mean, Kestra? Didn't see another shadow man, don't... Make me afraid of the Shadow Man. What's that? I mean, maybe. I'm not, I'm not against it. Okay. Oh, now these are yellow or golden shimmering. We only s have seen the blue version. So maybe these are the Azai... The first form of the Azai, the the first or third form, because um, we read in the um, species description that they are immobile. I can play Nintendo. Is it on the Switch or on the DS? Or I don't know how to stream those kind of things. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Arai, it's Arai, right? If, if I would be in an alien movie and the smartest biology scientist ever, I would just touch things because that's what they do in the alien movies. You have the smartest collection of humans sent out on a reconnaissance mission and they all just start, start touching things till they get eaten by an alien. Anyway. Oh, look at... Are they worshipping... Salamander? An axolotl? Yeah, the best and brightest of humanity. Pokey, pokey, pokey. This is quite spectacular looking. Oh, there we have another one of these lasers that... I think that blocks the teleportation of the shield around the colony. All hail nude? Who's nude? Purple petals. Hello? Oh, it's one of those uh, Super Mario plants. Oh, they have a tree. There is their, their tree. Oh, right. Oh, I haven't seen the movies in, in ages. All right, Danielle, thank you for stopping by. I'm glad that you can't get spoiled more. <laughs> there is the laser. Where am I going now? Okay, here is their tree. Look at this. Oh, this is probably some 
some means of transportation over somehow it looks like I could maybe but let's see how so I, I wanted to start this stream of completely different by checking out a path and all of a sudden now I'm in a different world let go of my plans just stick your head in there yeah that's that's what the smart scientists would do right hello Anyone? Okay, I can go down there. Hmm. Some small graphic bugs with the lighting here, but it's okay. It's a bug world, so... That is a different looking sphere, though. That is like a brownish material. What do we have here? Oh no. No, 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 really want to push? No, I don't want to push it now. I think that is one of those teleporter thingies. I want to have a, at least a sense of where I'm going and why I'm going. Oh, this might be the... Kind of like a gondola. Wouldn't there be a way to activate it? Probably is. It's just a question where. Because maybe if I sent this gondola away, I would be able to cross it and get to the other side at least. Looks like it. Maybe I just missed the lever again, which happens all the time to me here. So, do you have a button somewhere? Hello? But this looks more like it is... Like, they kind of block it somehow? I don't know. Is that a button? It's just uh, bold. Do we have a button here? Anyone? It seems that way. Maybe I have to use the teleport Torino. Try to wash my hands after touching all these alien things for once. But this only this, this one time. Okay, I can't go here. I'm just... Before I touch the alien thing, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. But I don't think there is anything else right now. Might change, obviously. Okay. <laughs> There we go again. What? That is in the middle of town. Daddy. Exactly. So before 
What's that? So before... Th these parts were blocked off. Oh, but they were blocked off by these... By parts of the big... Swe stone sphere things. But... Uh, are we... Are we now time traveling as well? With that, I... I'm so confused. You shut the fuck up. Uh, okay, um... There's my... Little, little car. Still didn't... wasn't able to open this one. Hmm. I don't know what I would be able to do with my car underneath a water tank. Right, I returned a part, part where it should be. Guess when. But am I now just a glorified alien delivery service? That is, that is the question. So I don't see what, what I would do over there. But if we returned the construction here, that also means that when we first left Hunrat, that we transported that. Oh, and now I also know why we can turn the big sphere um, that is in front of the junkyard because depending on how we turn it we probably then later teleport with it back and forth to then get out of the specific um, place something like that I would assume okay I'm very confused right now. Not sure if you can tell. Very subtle. So I think this will bring me back on this side. I think, yeah, that is where I when to get to the yes let's see what changed here I think this is where the thing was right No, that, that is where the thing was.
That leads back to the junkyard. <laughs> that is the bleeder. Kind of there to get rid of the excess energy, if I re remember, or if I understood it correctly. Um, it is pretty neat, yeah. It is definitely frying my brain right now, but it is very cool. I like it. I would still prefer to just stay in the tiki bar, but I guess interdimensional teleportation is okay too. Okay, now, now let's get back to my initial plan. The thing that I wanted to do the entire time is cross the bridge when I get to it. So I went in here and that put me on the way to the tower, right? Yeah. Your option is always there, true. Maybe, maybe I can teleport my tiki bar. But that also explains why we have the uh, submarine and the airplane in here, because they were then pretty much sucked into this world with the teleportation, right? That's how they ended up here. Now, can I... Okay, that's the shortcut. Do love me some shortcuts. And the spot I started in, yes. That is the sphere that I was talking about. So we can turn this around and that's probably what they were trying to do. Uh, to get somewhere where we need to have the exit at a certain place. What's this now? Oh. I still have the number, the help number. It's two, four, five digits, six digits. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. One, two, three, four digits there. Not the... Uh, that doesn't fit. Thought I was smart. No, it doesn't fit. Hmm. Well, let's still go through it, though. Now it starts from the beginning. One, four, five, 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 four, three, that didn't work. What about four? Three, five, seven, nine, six. Oh. What about three? Five, seven, nine, six. Hello there. Eight. Hello, Zora Dragon. Thank you for those. No. Two. 
Don't have a different six digit code though. Nah. Okay, we need a six digit code. At least we now know that. Also must be a way on how to get on this side. No. I mean the problem the number is probably Either in the garage or in the mayor office, I would assume. Or the hint for the number. No? That is where... See, that is... We have all these and there was this one... Hmm... No, that's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted. So that was the number that I tried. Because it's the only phone number we had so far. 1555 help you. Hmm. Do you have that number written down, but that is not... So they do have power, it is just locked separately. Oof. No, sea cell is useless. He's so far. We had Ohio. Iowa City. Maybe. Let me there was something here about the tower and all. No, that's about the bleeder. There was something about new coats. A clue to that code has been placed under the direction of our first mayor. Um, mayor. Luther Roscoe. And okay, it is Ohio. Yes, so Ohio license plate was a good shout because that I found out now as well. So, so I remembered that in the book there was a hint about the code. Now we need to, there was also a license plate with Ohio, I remember that. And it is a six digit thing. There's one M E one O seven. Now I 
know how this puzzle I think works, but I have to remember where the letters are placed on the old, like how they connect with the old digits. Because first of all, here, at least to my knowledge in Germany, it was never as much of a thing that you would give out numbers like one, two, three, help me. Like I only heard these things in from US shows when people gave up out numbers. We do had have or had the letters assigned to numbers, but it was never really used as like a thing. So I have to find out where M and E were. Let's start it. Let's see. It would be one and now m e so think mm -hmm. was it was it a b c or a b c d on one think it's either No! That was not correct. Let's try that again. One. Or not? Oh, it was a three. Okay. Thank you, Ankhazer. Because I like this was just one of those cases where I, kn I knew what the solution in theory was. But I mean, if it is the solution, that that is another question. Maybe it's not. It's just I didn't remember where it was placed. Uh, yep. <laughs> 